a lot of effort goes into the care of the children when they come to our camp. Um, when we found out that Ofsted and the Care Quality Commission needed to be involved in running schemes like this and making sure we're doing the right thing, we accepted that completely. Uh, we were already doing all of those things anyway, we just had to formalise some of our processes. So what we would normally do is send out an application form to the parents. They give us a lot of information about the needs of the individual child, about their preferences, about their ambitions and the things that they want to achieve when they're, they're an adult and maybe we can put some stepping stones in place. When we've got the application form, we then go and have a home visit and actually meet them and start building up the trust and the rapport that we need with the parents and with the child uh, and find out what were the little details about how they live their lives on a day-to-day -day basis and what we can copy and what we have to pay attention to when they come to our camp. I've just dropped my son for his annual holiday camp. He's been coming to camp for several years and I can leave him here knowing that he will be well looked after. The first year I brought him, I was very nervous about leaving him. But the staff made me feel at ease. They were in touch with me constantly and I was reassured that he would be absolutely fine. He's had amazing experiences at camp. He's been on boats, he's been on planes, something I thought he'd never ever do. He's managed to have a flight, um, which is one of the most exciting things he's ever done. The camp's usually themed, so he's had fun with circus week, um, a music week, science week, robots, lots and lots of different things that he does. He's going to enjoy the week and it gives us a chance to have a break and for me to uh, look after his sibling, his brother, who normally we wouldn't get a chance to do some things when my other son is home with us. So it's a chance for us to just relax, recharge and know that the other son is having a wonderful time and being well looked after. So thank you ever so much everybody at camp for doing such a wonderful job and we're delighted to be here again this year. Thank you. And have you had updates through the Yeah, the guys have been amazing. Um, when she got, had a bit of a wobble, um, they rang me and explained and then I had the chance to speak to her and stuff and check she was okay. And, and then they rang again the next day to say she was fine or, or have a conversation or whatever. So the communication's been brilliant. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. the first time. Yeah. Anxious. Yeah. So, yeah. So that, that's meant a lot. Um, and also it's meant a lot to her that she knows that they can trust the guys here to phone me if they, if they need to or whatever. So, yeah. Oh, it's just been absolutely amazing. It's life, you know, we've had a really good, quiet week. I've done things with my other son, which we can't do when we've got Ben there. Um, and it gives him that independence, gives us a break. Also, like, Josh has had his friend to stay overnight and things like that. So we've all benefited from, from it, from coming. How many times has this event been here? This is the second time, yeah. yeah. So, oh, yeah, he was really excited to come. He's come with his friend Sam as well, so the two of them together. Yeah, he goes to school with Sam, so, you know, he, he had someone here that he knows, so he's... he's like, oh. <laughs> so, how long have you been, uh, how long has your son been coming here? Uh, he's been coming here now for the last, I think, four or five years. Yeah. And what's, what's the big one? I mean, you just talked about experiences there. Is that a massive thing? Yeah, I mean, obviously, camp, there's all the volunteers, they get to give him experiences that I couldn't give him on my own. Um, like they went flying a couple of years ago, um, and that's something I, I couldn't do with him. And, I mean, you said you've been here for four or five years now. What was it like the first time you brought him? How nervous were you? It's, it's frightening. It's very frightening because he's non-verbal, he's severely disabled, has a lot of complex health needs, um, and I'm his full-time carer, so when you're sort of giving over those reins to strangers, um, it's it's very very hard. But yeah, the, yeah. But the team here, <laughs> the, are they they're very good at listening to? Oh yeah, very much so. Um, you know, you just give them as much detail as possible, um, and they they just go through everything with you. 
Um, I mean, I do live locally, so they, you know, they keep me updated with how he's getting on. If there's any problems, you know, I know I can always come here um, to to help out. But yeah, they're they're very they're very good, they're very good. Yeah, well, when when Robinson comes here to camp, it gives us time to to go out and do things that we can't do when we've got Robinson. Um, so if we want to have a day out and go to you know, climb Mulvamai, um, you know, we can go and do that, whereas I couldn't do that if I had Robinson with us. Um, you know, so we, you know, we've been to London before when Robinson's been here. Um, and again, although I could take him to London, it's, you're, you're tied by where you can go because of changing facilities and obviously you know he, I'd need hoists wherever I took him so you can't just go to a normal hotel and because I can't lift him he's, he's too heavy to lift on my own so we tend to just try and do things that you know so that she doesn't miss out <laughs> on doing things so you've got a, a big vote of confidence oh this. absolutely yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. We've had our first, is this the first week at camp event? No, this is the second time he's been. Yeah. Sam? Sam, did you enjoy it? Yes. Yeah. How much camp mean to you? Oh, it's wonderful. We get a bit of respite. Uh, I get some time with his brother, who doesn't get a lot of time on his own with me. <coughs> and Sam has a lovely time, don't you, Sam? You really, really enjoy yourself. He talks about it for months afterwards, don't Where's you? Where do you go this way? Don't you, Sam? Don't you have a lovely time? Yeah. What's the best bit about camp? What did you enjoy the uh, most? Dance. Dancing. Dancing? Did you like the disco last night? Yeah. He's got some great dance moves, haven't you? Oh, go. Oh, I will. Is it now? <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. We love it. Don't we, Sam? What are you going to say? Say thank you. Say thank you, Vinny. Bye, Vinny. Um, well, camp for us has given us our sort of first week off in 12 years of caring. It's just been so, so nice for, for us. Nathan gets up in the night and it's just given us seven nights of uninterrupted sleep. So it's just, um, and also we've got two other children and it's given them the opportunity to sort of sit down and watch a programme without sort of being interrupted. Or... It also gives him the opportunity to do something, which is, which is, something that's been really hard in the last two years so and i think you know with covid and everything things have been very intense we had homeschooling we had you know all of that and to, for him to come to somewhere like this which is cared for supervised with activities has been fantastic and and all the sort of volunteers they're so lovely and you know you couldn't you know he's obviously he's gone around hugged everybody goodbye so he couldn't ask for a better way he's, to spend the week. He's had a ball. I've been watching him through the week. He's <laughs> having an absolute ball. Um, did you get kept updated through the week? Yeah, yeah, we had we had we had a few updates, but I think I think they were probably very busy. So we had yeah. it on Facebook and, and we had an email. We, we had, had an email. for the first day. We had one just specifically for Nathan, just to reassure us. I assume, but he, you know, he was having a great time. Um, which there was a picture of him and you know, obviously. Come here, Nathan. Come on. <laughs> Nathan's had enough, hasn't he? Like, I know. He's just. <laughs> he's, um, so you know, sort of kept updated with more general activities. But, yeah. Um, you know, it's just, you know, it's lovely that he's had the opportunity. He's been sort of doing archery and shooting, which we wouldn't. Boxing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I just, I, I think, I think it just gives him a level of independence which he hasn't, we, we hasn't had before. I think, I think it's, it's so good that he's been confident enough to be away, and you know. With no issues at all, but I think he wants to be off now. <laughs> thank you. Right. No, thank thank you. you. Thank you. Cheers. So, what's been camp like for you? Um, for, for me, yeah. um, it's been excellent to be honest. Yeah, it's uh, we just know that it's just very secure and you know safe for Liam environment for for what he he wants and he needs really. And that's the most important thing. That yeah. safe environment. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's been, um, I think this is his fifth or sixth year now. Um, and it's it's one of them weeks in the year that he just loves looking forward to. Yeah. You know. I've, I've been watching him through the, throughout the week. He's had a great time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What's, yeah. what's been your favourite thing during the week? We gig. Hey? Gives it like. You do uh, climbing. 
Yeah, climbing. Climbing. You like the climbing? Yep. Yeah. Just all the activities, isn't it? Getting involved with everybody. Yep. And the good team spirit that you that you have. Yep. Yep. And just all the all the help is just superb. You know, just unbelievable. You know, the the way they give the, the week to it, you know. Um just unbelievable really. <laughs> for superhero thing. So Dad, but you're picking up Liam now. Yep. It's just at a week at camp. Mm -hmm. What's camp? I mean I know Liam's had a fantastic time. You have had a great yeah. time, haven't you? Hey? <laughs> Despite the first day I heard you saying, I wanna go home, don't yeah. like it here. I heard you saying that, but you loved it here. You've had a great time. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean to you? I, it means the world just to have that bit of a break. Obviously, we love Liam, but we are a large family, and Liam's um, tiny bit naughty and silly. Sometimes he's <laughs> a tiny bit naughty and silly. Um, so it's done everybody the world of good, and it gives Liam that bit of independence as well. And I want that break off Leo too. And he wants a break with his siblings too. But for for me as a mom, yeah. it's just given me that bit more energy to carry on because this is Liam's first year, and there isn't all that we know. There isn't that much for children like Liam. Um, respite type of stuff. Well, maybe you um, saw the Hoover. I can see the Hoover. <laughs> so it's it's been phenomenal for us as a family, and the way he's been when I picked him off is amazing. And I've caught bits on Facebook of what they've been doing. Yeah. Um, so they all look like they've had a fantastic time. What's camp mm. mean to you? Well, mm. camp means to me um, a place first of all where Josephine can be uh, included and be part of something because we. See we are often left out of things um, and because she is non-verbal she doesn't really have friends so to speak um, at, yeah. even at school so um, it's just nice to feel included yeah. and welcomed so it's great for her and it gives me a bit of time to just relax and I can properly relax and sleep really well and recharge my batteries to go again <laughs> for another year <laughs> Oh yeah, well, yeah, the first year I came, I was like, I'm not going anywhere because they'll be phoning me up the first day. We can't cope with her. Bring, come and get her. But yeah, so, um, so sometimes I even go away for a couple of days and I just, you know, know that she's going to be fine. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with her. <laughs> so what about yourself? What does this mean to you? Oh, it's brilliant. So we just took the other two little ones away to Pontons um, for the four, well, Monday to Friday. It just gives us a chance to spend time with the others. Um, obviously, because it's hard to win when you go with them. <laughs> well, absolutely. Not like that. Yeah. Absolutely. But, no, it's amazing. It's brilliant. I wonder what else it would be, George. He loves it. He's just not very good. Oh, so so yeah, Jordan. How many times has Jordan been coming? Oh. Four. Jordan knows. Four. Well, 2017. Four, four no, times no. you been Jordan. And, and you enjoy it. He does. Yeah? Not sure. Well, <laughs> he's it's a better bit than, shy. It's better than having fish and chips, isn't it? Yeah, he's um, yeah, getting more confident, aren't you, each year? He's speaking more to all the staff. Yeah. <laughs> We're usually, um, it's very, as you say, it's quite hard to get to speak yeah. sometimes he gets shy but he's been he watching, not come on been watching him with the helpers and he, he he's been working so much uh cutting um really helping jane out the other day oh. making masks for and things like that so uh, he was up great time yeah he loves it they do just it just doesn't look like it does any <laughs> but, but no it's brilliant but of course it's also you having the confidence to uh, yeah to, 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 to leave him here as well yeah definitely he doesn't really go anywhere to see yeah. so yeah so that, that's really important to, to kind of have that confidence. Yeah. No, definitely. I, I was, it'd be lost without them, really. They're brilliant what they do, you know, it's all lovely.